everybody. Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. This week I'm featuring my Taco Fiesta stamp set. This is my Million Dollar Stamp Achievers stamp set that I got to design. Um, I've got lots of fun Taco Fiesta projects for you, so make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog. There's lots of projects to choose from. This project is really simple. It is. It was a little treat that I made for my team um, when we did went to an event in November, and inside it holds a gummy, and I found these on Amazon. I'll have the link there for you um, on the blog post. These, you can get a gummy taco, a gummy cactus, a, gu a gummy sombrero, or a gummy pinata, whichever one you like. They all will go with this great stamp set. Um, also, this stamp set has lots of great sayings, but I decided to pull in something a little more general for this one, and I used Let's Celebrate from the Simply Fabulous um, stamp set. All right, let's make our, let's stamp our pinata first. I am gonna use Memento Black because we're gonna use Stampin' Blends. Um, you can color this guy in a variety of ways. There really is no right or wrong. So just decide on your color scheme and pull those blends out and then you can just go to town. All right, this, these images are great for coloring because they're small. But because they're small, that also means the detailed parts of them are really small. So you have to use the very tip of your brush end or your bullet end. My um, Stampin' Blends are new, so the tip is still really stiff and works really well to get in these little spots. And you wanna just tap the color very slowly and just little taps of color and that will help you stay in the lines. I am using uh, first Sweet Sorbet Light and I'm just gonna go around in this first kind of the little ring here and I did the little tassels. I'm also gonna do one of the little hor the tail, tail strands. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to dark polished pink and I'm gonna do the next. And you know what? This marker is not new. My brush tip is almost dry because I've used it so much. So I'm switching over to the bullet end and I'm gonna go around and get this colored in. I'm gonna do another little strand here and I'm gonna do these little, the little necklace or whatever that is around her neck. All right, next I'm gonna use pumpkin pie. And this is pumpkin pie dark. I kind of think maybe that's a little bit too dark. Let's switch over to pumpkin pie light and we'll do the little nose. And this last little strand there. And then last but not least, I'm gonna bring in parakeet party. A really bright, fun green. Now there's one other thing I like to do to my images. Whoops, he's got some pink on him. Oh no. Well, he's gonna be a little bit pink. When you use your, your um, wink of Stella over an inked image, it will pick up that color. So whatever I <laughs> colored before this, which I think was a chili pepper, it picked up that pink. So unfortunately I've transferred a little bit of that color over there, but we're just gonna go for it. All right, maybe he's blushing. Now, these images don't have dies, unfortunately. But we have scissors and we have hands. We could just cut them out. So take your paper snips, go all the way around, get an excess, the excess cardstock off of there, and then just very slowly go around, staying on the outside of that black line. Um, I like to, to leave a little bit of a white border as I go because I think that this kind of tricks the eye. If your cuts aren't perfect, which let's face it, most of our cuts aren't perfect, um, the, the eye, whoever's looking at it, is only gonna see the black line. They're gonna focus in on that black line, not the white skinny little border that may have some um, less than perfect cuts. So use your paper snips, these are the best for cutting um, small areas. And I'm just gonna go around the tail. I'm not gonna try to get in between there leaving just a little cloud around. Stay in the middle of your 
your blades there. And there we go. All right, our blushing pinata. <laughs> if that ever happens to you with your Wink of Stella, all you have to do is just run it clear on a scratch piece of paper until that color is gone. Um, all right, let's stamp the sentiment, which it looks like I did not pull out, but we can do that. Let's celebrate right here. This is this would make a great party favor. Um, any kind of party, a baby shower, <clears throat> a birthday party, um, graduation, retirement. All right, I'm going to stamp it kind of right there. That That is a pale papaya. Going to take this lovely punch, and it'll fit right there between those straight edges. And we will take some dimensionals. Put our little pinata right there, <clears throat> and we'll put this in the middle of a sweet sorbet scalloped circle. All right, now I have already scored my piece at, it's two by seven and a half, <clears throat> scored at half an inch, three and three fourths, and four and a fourth. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I have a piece of our new uh, Desert Designer Series paper. And I'm going to put that right there. And it looks like, boy, this video is needs to be added to the blooper reel because it seems like I'm having all kinds of problems. And I'm just going to trim that off. <laughs> it was a little bit too long. So you want to adhere your DSP to that front section. We're going to fold this half inch tab up. Let's grab one of our little gummies. And this is going to tuck into that lip. So you need to leave room right there for it to tuck in. So make sure that the plastic is all the way to the bottom and then get a stapler and staple down here at the bottom so you have that space to tuck in. Make sure you've caught it. Sometimes it doesn't catch so you have to staple it again. And then you tuck that in and then we'll add a couple of more dimensionals and add our cute little tag and last but not least i've got our new twine this is the three twine combo pack we got this orange perfect for this project and we'll get a mini glue dot and we're done this is a really simple project these images all like I said, we're designed to be colored. This is probably the simplest one. You can make lots of them um, in no time at all. And these, you could just make as many as you want. And uh, you'll have some really cute party favors. All right, click the link here on my blog. Go back to, click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog, check out the full details and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.